Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an SPSS tutorial about how to do correlations and analyze them. So firstly, in order to conduct the correlation itself, all you need to do is click Analyze, Correlate, and click Bivariate. Now you just add the variables that you want to run the correlation for from the left hand column to the right hand column by clicking the center button. So I'm going to run a correlation between all four of them. Also, make sure that this button is clicked, although it should be clicked generally like before you even do anything. When you click OK, it'll open up this. So, a correlation is basically looking at the relationship between two variables. It ranges on a scale from positive 1, which is a very strong positive correlation, to negative 1, a very strong negative correlation. A positive correlation means that as one variable increases, so does the other. A negative correlation indicates that as one variable increases, the other decreases. A value of zero for a correlation means there is no relationship. So if we begin to analyze this table, there are two important values. There is the Pearson correlation value, which is known as the R value, and the significance value, known as the P value. The R value, this first one, indicates the strength and direction of the correlation. So this is a very strong positive correlation, 0.898. The significance value, or the p-value, is the probability that the r-value we obtained is just by chance. The lower value, the, the less likely it is that the correlation was obtained by chance. So for example, in the correlation between age and recall, zero, that is the perfect p-value. SPSS helps us out here by helpfully starring the correlational values that are significant. So if you look at our table here, the correlation between age and recall is significant, and the correlation between time and age is significant. Anything above this diagonal line is just a mirror of what happened on the other side, so you don't really need to worry about it. So if we take a look at this table and analyze it, we can say that there is a positive correlation between age and recall, a positive correlation between time and age, and that's it. None of the other correlations that we ran were significant because the p-values were too high. In addition, this n-value just indicates the number of participants there were. So in our case, in our uh, made-up data set, there were 11 participants.